Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! <laughs> hey everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. I'm back playing Purino Party, and uh, we're back on the Suzu quest. We just finished a puzzle, so we're ready to talk to her and see what pictures she has for us today. And this girl just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Let's see what she has to say today. We say hello. I wanted to see Suzu, so I came to the garden. Basking in the sun again today. Yeah, but the weather isn't all that great today. There's some clouds. Yeah, at this rate, it's going to get overcast pretty soon. Suppose that's it for today's sunbathing. I wanted to talk to you, though. Too bad. Huh? Why don't we go to my room, then? Yes! Your room? Is that okay with you? Sure, if you're okay with it, at least. Why wouldn't I be okay with that? Alright, then. <laughs> Oh, our room's nice. She's got a lot of stuffed animals, though. Oh, it started to rain. Soon after she showed me to her room, drops of water began to fall from the sky. We barely made it back inside. Ugh, made it back inside in time. Phew. It's just a shower. It'll be over soon. Nice timing. I bet even the gods acknowledge your beauty and didn't want to get you wet. What the fuck? That would that would be bad. Huh? And only people would consider that to be lucky. If I'm not able to get wet in the rain, I'll never be able to experience the excitement of having my clothes become see-through. This is the uh, fantasy of the day, apparently, having see-through clothes. Please don't tell me you've tried that. No, not yet. Good, this town is full of hungry wolves on the prowl. It's dangerous. Yes, if there are wolves about town, that would be dangerous. I don't think she got my point, but as long as she doesn't wander around town like she's just won a wet t-shirt contest, that's good enough for me. So... Let's have a long, nice talk in your room, or you should only do that stuff in front of me. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Uh. Yeah, she's a horny honey. Of course she goes through that one. You should only do that stuff in front of me. Making your clothes see-through, I mean. Only in front of you? That would be a lot safer. Are you going to pour a bucket of water over me, then? Looks like she's really excited about that and wants that. Well, if you ask me politely... Ah, my entire body is heating up just thinking about it. Really? Seriously? Does anything get you excited? This girl gets turned on by literally every topic of conversation. Every topic. I should probably change the subject ASAP. Why? Don't- isn't that the whole point of the game? What do you usually do when you're in your room? Oh, and I'm gonna decide from fantasizing. Mm, other than fantasizing, I read books and study, and that's about it. You mean, like, normal studying? Yeah, studying for school, you idiot. I'm smart. I'm a grade A student. So you're a serious student, huh? Oh my, why did you think I wasn't? Well, it would... it's you were talking about, so I figured you must fantasize about weird stuff while you study. Well, I do that too. Oh my, of course she does. This girl fantasizes about everything. I'm always ex exercising my imagination. Can I ask, what do you think about while you're studying? Let's see. For example, when I'm doing math and see the number 6 plus 1, I wonder which hole the 1 should go in, and it makes my heart race. Um... What? The 1 in a hole. Just like sound like disappointed and sad at this point. For example, the number 8 has 2 holes. I think about how good that must feel, and things like that. So I guess studying and fantasizing actually go really well together. You're not really studying then, are you? Your imagination is just too rich. Really? I think all of the girls around my age are like this though. Nope. Sorry, I'm calling bullshit on that one. Oh my god, the first correct thing this game has said. But doesn't fantasizing all the time make you feel strange? It does. What do you do when that happens? What do you think? Oh boy. Something I can't say out loud or eat a lot. Could it be something I can't say out loud? What kind of something? Well, I can't say it out loud. I just said that. But I want to hear from your mouth what you're thinking about. I can't say it out loud. Please spare me. Honestly, I usually just go to sleep. Can you really fall asleep when your spirits are so inflamed? Yes, I can. I may be a special case, but contrary to what you might think, I fall asleep right away. This is weird. For some reason, I can totally imagine that. <laughs> it's true, the female body is shrouded in mystery! 
Why was there a music note at the end of that? Did she sing that? The human body is shrouded in mystery! Oh, God. All right. Well, there's another naked picture. She's not totally naked. Just looks like she pulled her shirt down so her boobs popped out the top. And she's in a very suggestive pose. Thank you for that uh, cover-up job. Uh, yeah, let's let's finish her off. I think we only have a... Let's see, let's see. Uh, oh, we have one more, and then we're done with Suzu, and then we gotta play the weird girl, and then and we can finish them all off. Great. So let's finish off Suzu. This is the last one for her. Well, lots to match up already. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, like that, and then... Aww. Probably got anything. Sticky Desio. God damn it, I messed that up. Oh fuck! Just threw me in that one. No hearts to line up. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Oh, finally. Oh, no, those hearts. Oh, we almost had them. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit! Ah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, and... This one is always the hardest, so let's try again. Okay, we got it this time for sure. I feel it. Yeah, if you guys just yell hard at the screen at home, maybe I'll get it better. So please yell at me. That sounded mean. It wasn't that I came out wrong. Check out my matching skills. Alright, we gotta get these hearts in a row. And bam. Oh shit. Okay. We got fever mode. Take that. Sticky desuyo. Sticky desuyo. Everything is fine. Whoa, what was that? Forget which way to rotate everything when I'm spinning. 
All right. Beaver mode. Uh, okay. And then... Shit. No! No! God dang it. Oh my god, we're so close. We only have one turn left. Ah, oh, we did it! Yay! I knew it all along. I knew we would make it. Alright, so next time on the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, we are going to uh, talk to Suzu for the last time and get our last raunchy picture from her. Uh, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it. And uh, we'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody!